Eliza. This letter will not be delivered to you unless I shall first have terminated my earthly career to begin a happy immortality. I need not tell you of the pangs I feel from the idea of quitting you and exposing you to the anguish which I know you would feel, nor could I dwell on the topic lest it should unman me. Fly to the bosom of your God and be comforted with my last idea. I shall cherish the sweet hope of meeting you in a better world. And you, best of wives and best of women, ever yours, Alexander. Let me tell you what I wish I'd known When I was young and dreamed of glory You have no control Who lives, who dies, who tells your story President Jefferson, I'll give him this His financial system is a work of genius I couldn't undo it if I tried And I tried Who lives, who dies, who tells your story President Madison, he took our country from bankruptcy to prosperity I hate to admit it, but he doesn't get enough credit for all the credit he gave us. Who lives, who dies, who tells your story? Every other founding father's story gets told. Every other founding father gets to grow old. And when you're gone, who remembers your name? Who keeps your flame? Who tells your story? Who tells your story? Who tells your story? Back in the narrative Eliza. I stop wasting time on tears I live another 50 years It's not enough Eliza. I interview every soldier Who fought by your side she tells our story. I try to make sense of your thousands of pages of writings You really do write But you're running out of time I rely on Angelica While she's alive we tell your story she is buried in Trinity Church near you When I needed her most, she was right on time And I'm still not through I ask myself, what would you do if you had more time? The Lord in His kindness, He gives me what you always want And He gives me more time I raise funds in D.C. for the Washington Monument she tells my story I speak out against slavery My time is up. Have I done enough? Will they tell your story? Oh, can I show you what I'm proudest of? Your orphanage. I established the first private orphanage in New York City. The orphanage. I helped raise hundreds of children. I get to see them growing the up. Orphanage. In their eyes I see you, Alexander. I see you every time. And when my time is up, have I done enough? Will they tell the story? Oh, I can't wait to see you again. It's only a matter of time. Who tells your story?